What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going over who I think the Tiger Vessel is, what the Tiger Vessel is, and everything we currently know about the Tiger Vessel. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, join the Discord, now enjoy the video. So who is the Tiger Vessel? Apparently it's someone who's a master of the Nico style, who can also use the Advance without any drawbacks. As we saw in the Kangen Astro Annihilation Tournament, Oma, master of the Nico style, but has the drawbacks from the Advance that resulted in his death, or his heart, for not getting the Destroyed, and the only reason he survived was him receiving the new heart and everything regarding that. We got to see the person calling himself the Tiger Vessel in his cloak at the end of King and Nushra alongside Edward Wu and the ZG guy from Worm, with him being able to defeat Long Min, another member of Worm in that, you know, last couple pages or stated that he defeated him, and that sometime in the past the Tiger Vessel was on par with Long Min, with him being able to keep away Cosmo, Gao Lang, and a few other fighters when the Worm invasion happened or the whole you know invasion thing happened in Ashura and everything regarding that. We also have a lot of stuff in Ashura pointing to Oma being the Tiger Vessel starting with the flashback of him actually receiving the advance from the person who called himself the real Nico who actually says the following to Oma so long Tiger Vessel this is everything I know about him and that's Oma talking there so Oma received this advanced power from the person calling himself the real Nico with this real Nico calling him a Tiger Vessel so yep someone i'm guessing a tiger vessel is someone who can use the nico style alongside the advance while this person calling himself the tiger vessel currently is someone who's mastered both of those with Oma being a master of the nico style but not a master of the advance and it seems that the tiger vessel who's already part of worm is fighting and is someone on team purgatory as shown by all these panels here so we had the tiger vessel being shocked that nadens a worm as well showing that the higher ups on worm don't really give information to everyone about who is a worm and he was questioning about there being more worms among us looking at the people who already battled in you know team purgatory against Kangen such as Yumi, Toa, Falcon and Carlos Medal. I'm guessing those people aren't tiger vessels or aren't the tiger vessels so you can scratch those four out. It's very obvious that Alan Wu is in the tiger vessel as well because he's shown in the same panel so it's proving it's not him and it was pretty obvious that Alan Wu wasn't the tiger vessel. So we have the remaining one, two, three four five six seven people who could be the tiger vessel i'm guessing it could very well be someone else that's not including them but with everything that these panels show it's pretty obvious that one of them is the tiger vessel we saw in the most recent chapter with lutian fighting kanagito that he's also a member of the worm and has got training and mastered a version of the nico style from another Tokita Nico possibly in the past similar to the one who Kanagita was trained by as he mentioned in Ashura and everything regarding that so it's very possible that Lutian is the Tiger Vessel and this is backed up by Alan Wu and his panel which says the following did he say Takita Nico does that mean that he's the Tiger Vessel the worms keep talking about so Alan Wu is getting the assumption that Lutian is the Tiger Vessel. I personally don't think Lutian is the Tiger Vessel. It could be revealed next chapter, chapter 90 when it comes out this week. As we know last week it was break week for Kangan but chapter 90 we could learn that Lutian or another character part of Team Purgatory is the Tiger Vessel. Now I'll talk about the remaining characters and which one of them could possibly be the Tiger Vessel. So at first I thought the person in Team Purgatory who the Tiger Vessel was was uh, Lu Dong Chen but recently with all the stuff we've got with him regarding Nade and everything it kind of points away from him being the Tiger Vessel with him also being part of the Free Demon Fist alongside Lutian and Fei Wang Fang. Fei Wang Fang hasn't really said much so far part of Team Purgatory he's been one of the more styling characters he has talked a little bit to Nicholas and other characters but as a whole he's been kind of neutral and just chewing back so it is possible that he could be the Tiger Vessel but having two members of Worm part of the Free Demon Fist is kind of weird in my opinion Opinion. As we saw last chapter, Lutian is a worm member with the tattoo being on his uh, tongue and Alan Wu assuming he's the Tiger Vessel. Kind of, you know, moves the idea of one of the other three Demon Fists being the Tiger Vessel away in my opinion. So I currently don't think it's any of those three. And then I do believe it's one of the remaining fighters. Another character who I don't think it will be is Lo Long. Lo Long is assumed to be the strongest purgatory fighter unless the Tiger Vessel is revealed to be another character. And I do 
think Lo Long is going to be possibly weaker than the Tiger Vessel and that the Tiger Vessel has maybe been hiding his power against Lo Long. Lo Long seems very confident in himself and doesn't really feel intimidated by any other members on Team Paracty, which actually could point to him being the Tiger Vessel, but I don't think they'll make the guy getting all the hype be the Tiger Vessel and only have one character for this power instead of having multiple characters have hype around him, such as Lo Long getting all this, you know, story hype and everything regarding that, and then the Tiger Vessel who's been getting hype since, you know, the middle of Kangen Ashra to have two, you know, ultimate powerhouses on Team Purgatory. So Lo Long, I don't think is the Tiger Vessel. And then we have three remaining characters. We have Tarashi wearing the mask, Nicholas Lee Banner, and Jirota, the guy that's wearing the judo gi. So Jirota hasn't said very much as well, but he has said something of note when he was the person who, you know, realized the importance of Yamashita and Team Kangen and why they've actually got two wins against them, how they're actually improving, and that Yamashita is not someone to, you know, mess around with, and he's actually very dangerous, being able to work out how much of a threat Yamashita is. And if he's, you know, assuming that, it kind of makes me think that he isn't the Tiger Vessel. I feel that the Tiger Vessel wouldn't really care about Yamashita too much, and they'll kind of see through the, you know, godliness of Yamashita instead of getting distracted like he really is. So, in my opinion, it kind of crosses him out. And then the remaining two, Nicholas Lee Banner and Tarashi. So Tarashi has, is wearing the mask, is hiding his face, could be a character we've seen before, or just a completely new character. In my opinion, Tarashi is the obvious choice, but I kind of think it's too obvious that Tarashi is the Tiger Vessel, especially considering all the things that's happened alongside Lo Long and him, with Tarashi kind of freaking out every time Lo Long even moves. That could very well be an act, a more of a cover for Tarashi to, you know, hide away his true intentions and, you know, his true reality that he's the Tiger Vessel and all the power he has with him possibly being stronger than Lo Long with, you know, acting like that to, you know, just, you know, trick people and troll people pretty much. That could be something that he's doing. But I am kind of leaning away from Tarashi being the Tiger Vessel and I actually think Nicholas Lee Banner is the Tiger Vessel. We saw Tarashi and Nicholas Lee Banner actually have a conversation after Naden's death, which was pretty interesting. I'll talk about it now. So we have Nicholas saying the following, I mean, we're only on the same side for the moment. Once the competition's over, we'll go back to being enemies. It could be that it's just them, you know, being rivals or opponents for one another in Purgatory. They just want to make money and that they're not really friends. They're only doing this for the sake of Purgatory and that they have their own motives in Purgatory to make money and that they're going to have to fight each other at some point after the tournament. It could be that or it could be something else. Maybe Nicholas Lee Banner isn't the Tiger Vessel. Maybe he's opposing Worm and that Tarashi is the Tiger Vessel or it could be the other way around where Nicholas is the Tiger Vessel and maybe Tarashi is opposing Worm himself or something along those lines but we do see a much more serious Tarashi when he's not around Lo Long in my opinion with him actually questioning Nicholas not being you know in more distress than other characters when uh, Naden died and everything regarding that so it kind of shows him kind of changing and in more recent chapters have seen you know more talk coming from Tarashi so that's just something like that but something that points away from Nicholas being the Tiger Vessel is how in the past he was actually defeated by Jose, the Jose who was defeated by Yumi, but he didn't mention he doesn't remember that, so it could be another thing that happened with Worm where, you know, they invaded Purgatory like they did for Kangen, you know, with a clone or something along those lines, maybe the Tiger Vessel or maybe the Nicholas Lee Banner we have now isn't the real Nicholas Lee Banner from the past who lost to Jose and that the Tiger Vessel has taken over the role of Nicholas Lee Banner or something along those lines, that's very possible, but yeah, I personally in predicting that Nicholas Lee Banner is the Tiger Vessel. Let me know down in the comments your opinion of who you think the Tiger Vessel is part of Team Purgatory. But remember it could very well be someone who isn't on Purgatory that will actually appear later but I do think it's someone on Purgatory. But yep that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did subscribe and yep that's it guys. Peace.